Okay, so I know y'all saw that Monica responded to a fan on Instagram about C Murder. My good sis, Monica Denise Arnold, said that she got her heart broken. She ain't talked about that man in two years. Why are y'all talking about this? And I'm just like, if y'all know me, y'all know I love me some Monica Denise Arnold. Why I Love You So Much is my favorite song of all time, okay? It's never going to be replaced. Number one in my heart. Forever and ever and ever. I love me some Monica. A lot of people love Monica. People love Monica. She's friends with every damn body in the industry. Because she's like the real one. She's the real one. She's so fucking real. She's too fucking real for me. The way you could not torture me. You could not get that information out of me. There's no way you could get me to go on Beyonce's internet and tell the world that I got my heart broken by this jailbird. This man been in jail since the 90s. I believe. Or the early 2000s. I'm not really sure. I don't really keep up with that man like that. Okay. I was never a C-Murder fan. He got one song that I know. That everybody know. Monica, you're so gorgeous. You're so talented. You are accomplished. You've been in this industry since forever. You were singing your face off since you were a child. And you got on Beyonce's internet to say that this man broke your heart. This man, even if C. Murder never went to prison, he would never be on the level to even be worthy of being your partner. But we can't help who we love. We love who we love. That's fine. You really have to get on the internet and tell the people that this man broke your heart. You got your heart broken by this man who's in jail. He belongs to the state of Louisiana. And I, I'm not trying to be funny because, you know, things happen. You know, things happen. Some people are wrongfully incarcerated every day. I understand it. But Monica, for real? I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. I mean... We want the best for you, Monica. We want better for you. Like, we want way better for you, Monica. Okay? It didn't work out with Shannon. It didn't work out with him. People say he was scamming. I don't know. Allegedly. But see, murder, girl. I'm going to need you to stand up. Like, girl, what is... Oh, my God. We, You know, play us fuck up. Play us fuck up. You know? You ain't have to tell nobody this, though. We didn't need to know this. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I love Monica. I love Monica. I, I love her with my whole heart. I really, really do. And I'm not judging. But it's just like, girl, I just never understood how this was ever going to even work out. Because that man in jail for murder. That man's name. We, we don't even know him by the name Corey. We know him for the name C. Murder. And he has been in prison serving time for a murder. To me, if I was a judge... And I had even reason to believe that maybe, you know, maybe we should let him out early. Because maybe he didn't really do it. I don't know. It just doesn't look good. The situation ain't never looked right. It ain't never looked right. Monica, the people say you was dating this man as a teenager. He was a grown man and he was a teenager. This is looking like Stockholm Syndrome. This is what this kind of looked like. This looked like Stockholm Syndrome remixed a little bit. If I'm the judge, I don't know that I'm ever letting that man out. I ain't never letting him out. It just doesn't, it just don't look, it don't look good. It don't look right. It don't look right. It ain't never looked right. I just, I don't know. But I guess, you know, you know, you said you ain't talked about him in two years. So you're far removed from this. I just don't know why you would admit to that. But like I said, you know, for being the real, you being, you, you the realest, you too real.